Beep, beep, everybody. Hope you're all having a great day. Thanks for tuning in. We are at the Street of Shops in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, over 500 shops inside, according to the sign. And we stopped here right after we were at Roller Mills. And I filmed Roller Mills in a previous video. So go ahead and have a look at that. And we usually stop at that one and this one when we have the time. And my wife has a booth in uh, Roller Mills, and that's why we're here. Uh, there's a big giant box of baseball cards there for $30. And I think there are basketball cards in that one and football cards in that one. And that one's $25. There are some hockey cards in these two smaller boxes for $5. A Yankees binder for $25. And a Stars and Semi-Stars one for 35 And if we go around to the other side of the table. Well, before that, there's some cards here to look at. And they're mostly football cards. They were 50 cents each. They're in penny sleeves. And you'll find a Phillies binder for 30, 30 I think, or 35 I can't quite make that out. And there are the Dolphins for 20, the Eagles for 25, the Steelers for 25, and I didn't quite make out what that last one was. At the same booth, they have a case that has singles in it. You see some basketball cards here and baseball cards, a variety of modern and vintage. There's a 75 Thurman Munson up there, a 72 Harmon Killebrew, uh, some team cards and I apologize for the glare. This booth is right under a window, which you can see in the reflection right there. I'm an amateur videographer. I do the best I can. Uh, there's some uh, boxes, a 1992 score, 1990 Bowman, some smaller boxes, uh, a couple wax boxes there too. On the same floor near the register, if there's a, this long hallway leading out, and there are uh, a couple bins of 25 cent and 50 cent cards and penny sleeves, uh, I grabbed a few things from here. Um, I did get the film what's just to the right, but I did that in a second filming, and you'll see right here there are packs of cards for a dollar each, and I think there's a hundred cards in each one, and I'll show you what we got. Um, right after this okay i hope you enjoyed the uh very brief video of street of shops uh, i still need to do a much longer video of this place but i never seem to have the time to leave that bottom floor that we we go into from the parking lot they do have uh cards upstairs in i think three different cases and i need to get up there and film them uh, I suspect I won't be able to get a chance to do that until it gets cooler out because the dog stays in the van and we can't have him there in when it's really warm. Uh, we do put a fan on him, but still we limit our time to how long we can be in there and um, never seem to have the time to do it. But anyway, uh, for this trip, I bought a bunch of singles from the 25 cent and 50 cent bin. We'll go over them briefly. And I bought these two um, 100 card packs for a dollar each and we'll go over those I bought one of them once before on a trip here uh, let's move those off to the side um, but before we go through this stuff let me get Nathan Nathan usually doesn't sit on the right side I did buy a another binder uh, you can't really see it <laughs> here let me hold it up like this got the $35 uh, stars and semi stars binder uh, we're going to go over that in another video because that's going to take some time to go through this is one of the biggest binders i've bought that has a variety of cards from this uh, particular seller at this uh, antique mall um, yeah we'll save that for another video and if you recall there was a put this in a safe place here there was a $30 box of random baseball cards and I'm going to slowly move my phone over here and there it is on the floor right now uh, we're going to open or go through the contents of that box in another video uh, that's going to take some time and that's going to be a long video I did one video prior to this 
for another box, and this one was $30, and I believe the last one was also for $30. And, um, yeah, that might take, like, more than an hour to go through, an hour and 20 minutes or an hour and a half or so. So, um, let's go through the singles real quickly. These were all 25 cent and 50 cents. We got a 2001 EX Pedro Martinez. Pretty cool looking card. Uh, a 1995 Fleer. All Fleer. Number 9. Or number 8. I don't know what the 9 stands for. But it's the All Fleer set. Which is an insert set from that set. This is Tony Gwynn. Uh... 2018 Topps Archives, Freddie Freeman on the 1981 Topps design. Pretty cool design. That was the uh, the one set that really I dove into the hobby with back when I was a kid. Um, my brother and I would go to the Wawa and buy uh, five or six packs of this every Saturday morning. Uh, tried to complete the collection. I think I missed it by three cards. Uh, I have since completed it. <laughs> Don't remember what the three cards are, though. It was a long time ago when I completed it. We have a 2012 Topps Opening Day Blue, Jake Jacoby Ellsbury, pardon me. And that is a numbered card, numbered 1928 out of 2012, pardon the glare. A 2010 Topps Heritage, John Smoltz on the 1961 Topps design, another one of my favorite designs. Uh, that might be my favorite design of the 60s. It's either that or the 68 top set. Uh, 2000 Upper Deck MVP, Scott Rowland. Got that for a quarter. Uh, 2021 Tops Gallery, Miguel Cabrera. Um, 2018 Tops Heritage, Miguel Cabrera. Got that one for a quarter. Uh, this is a more recent one, 2022 Panini Absolute. This is a green parallel. Got that one for a quarter. I think my phone's sinking a little bit. Let me try to raise that up a little bit. <laughs> it probably did that while I was moving it around. Fleer Brilliance. This is the first time I've ever seen anything from Fleer. Fleer. <laughs> Fleer. <laughs> Get the mouth going, bud. Fleer Brilliance. This set came out in 1999. There were some parallels to these that are rather expensive. There's like a, um, I believe a gold, uh, a blue, and a 24K gold, if, I, if I'm not mistaken when I look them up. This is just the base set. That's Trevor Hoffman. Got that one for a quarter. Pretty nice looking card. We got a Paul Goldschmidt from 2019 Topps Gallery. Got that one for a quarter. Uh, Vladdy Guerrero. This is um, senior. His uh, not junior, not junior, but his the, his dad from 2016 Tops Archives on the 1979 Tops design. Um, Bowman late bloomers. This is from 1999. That's Trevor Hoffman. Pretty cool looking design. Rather complex, I'd say. That's a real complex design there behind him. Uh, 2007 Topps Chrome Carlos Beltran. Got that for a quarter. Um, which one's this? Uh, 2007 Topps Own the Game. There's I got another Own the Game uh, insert card in here from a different year. This one is Andrew Jones. We got a 1995 Score Hall of Gold. Greg Maddox. For 50 cents. Uh, here's another Greg Maddox insert card. This is from 2001 Fleer Tradition. It's called Grassroots. Got that for 50 cents. And uh, this was the other Own the Game one. This one is uh, from 2002. And that's got a pretty neat looking design. Got that for 50 cents. Uh, Leaf Opening Day from 1995. This is Jeff Bagwell. Uh, Bowman Platinum from 2019, Mookie Betts. Uh, Ringmasters from 2002 Tops. That's Roger Clemens. It's a pretty thick looking card. We have a DD Gregorius from 2017 Tops Fire. This is an orange parallel and it is numbered on the back. 
<clears throat> pardon me, 207 out of 299. We have a 2019 Panini Titan, Nolan Arenado. And the last one we picked up was a 2022 Panini Prism Old School pardon me, old school insert of Ryan Sandberg for 50 cents. And these came in a, a variety of parallels too. Uh, when I was looking them up on eBay, I noticed that they had a, I think a red one and some other ones. So let's move these off to the side here. And let's go through our $1 packs and see what we might find in here. Looks like it's taped up a bit. See what what kind of cool stuff because the last one I opened up was uh, rather surprising and I suspect these were packed as such because uh, you know some product doesn't move for a seller and this is one way to get it moving and it's one way for a buyer who seeks out this stuff to get a good bunch of stuff at a pretty cheap price so let's see what we got here. We got an Adam Wainwright. Oh, we're on the opposite side. Oh, well, they're kind of going every which way. We'll go from this side then. Um, Nomar Garcia Para, Upper Deck, Power Rally. See what the numbering is on this. P15, so that's an insert card. Not bad shape. Uh, can't quite make out the year. We'll have to look that one up. But that's a nice beginning. 1989 Tops Mark McGuire. 91 Tops Tim Hollett. We'll go through them a little more quickly. There is going to probably be some common cards mixed in. I mean, a 100-card pack, you can't expect it all to be stars for just a dollar. So this is a way to move some of your commons out of the way. Um... A dollar for a hundred cards, that's like flea market prices. So that's and you normally don't run into these in run into these in antique malls that often. There's Bob Malacky, Scott Radinsky, rookie cup card. There's a 91 Fleer, uh Melito Perez, our favorite yellow cards. There's a Carlton Fisk, Dan Pasqua, Wayne Edwards, Jack McDowell, Jack Savage, Juan Berenger. John Moses, Carmelo Castillo, Shane Mack, uh, Brian Price from Topps Heritage, 2015. I don't think I have any 2015 Topps Heritage. That's on the based on the 1966 Topps design, I believe. I hope I'm right about that. Hyunjin Ryu, J.J. Hardy, Wei-Yin Chen, Hector Rondon, Addison Reed, Josh Colmenter, Mike Morse, John Gibbons. Yeah, I don't I don't recognize very few of those names. Carl Rhodes, Craig Biggio from 1990 Fleer. That's an early card for him. Ken Caminini from 89 Donruss. That's an early card for him, too. There's Bob Forsh, Mike Scott, Mark McLemore, Wally Joyner, Larry Anderson, Willie Frazier, Moose Stubing. Don't see cards of him very often. Terry Clark. <clears throat> Greg Minton. I forget what his nickname was. It wasn't he called Moon Man or something like that. He, uh, as I understand it, he was quite a prankster and character back in the day. He had a couple really great years as a reliever in the late seventies and maybe uh, one or two in the eighties as well. Kirk McCaskill, Dan Petrie. Jack Lazorko, Dave Otto, there's Bob Boone, that's a pretty cool photo. Dave Parker, Hall of Famer Dennis Eckersley, Glenn Hubbard, Tony Armas, we're on 87 tops now, Spike Owen, Sammy Stewart, there's Tom Brunansky, 92 tops. We have Troy O'Leary from an upper deck set that I'm not familiar with, that's 2001 I believe. Wade Boggs, Tom Bolton, Jack Clark. Looks like he took care of his unibrow there. Ellis Burks. Uh, John Valentine. Remember, he had a 
I think he had he had a pretty good career, didn't he? I, I, don't, I don't remember him very well. Sorry, let me get the card back here. Yeah, he had okay numbers. He had a pretty good career. Scott Cooper. Uh, McGuire and the Collector's Club. Collector's Choice, I'm sorry, from 1990 Upper Deck. Charlie Spikes from an 81 Fleer card. That's way back in the day. Jim Fregosi from 89 Tops. We got a 1974 Tops, Fran Healy. Big uh, corner problem down there and up there, but you don't run into very many 74 cards. Oh, this is a miscut. Check it out. Here, I'll put this down. Look at that. There's the bottom, the, the card that goes next on the sheet just showed up on the bottom here. So that goes in my miscut collection. Cool. I couldn't ask for anything more with a $1 pack. That, that just made my day. 1980 Tim Foley. Not in bad shape. 81 Fleer Richard Dotson. There's 82 Fleer Steve Dillard. 79 Tops Larry Bittner. Richie Hebner really got... <laughs> he, he looks like he ran into a bus. <laughs> Jim Spencer from 1973 Tops. Wow, that's pretty cool. This actually isn't in bad shape for a 73 card. Uh, usually the backs of these, because of the black border, of all white edging and stuff. And this one doesn't. It's not bad. There's a corner ding up here in the upper left. The centering is terrible. Uh, too bad it wasn't a little further down. We'd have another miscut. But that's in pretty good shape for a 73 tops card. There's an 88 tops Dwight Evans. Bob Stanley. There's Larry Parrish. John McNamara, Calvin Schiraldi, Mike Boddicker, Steve Curry, Dwight Evans again, Todd Benzinger, <laughs> Dwight Evans again, Rich Gedman, Oil Can Boyd, uh, which year? 2010 Tops Heritage, Brad Hulp, love the 61 design, Ricky Nolasco, Marco Scutaro, Jeff Francoeur, Emilio Bonifacio, and then we move on to 2015 Heritage, Jake McGee, Scott Casimir, Back to Junk Wax, Al Nipper, Jamie Moyer, Mike Bilecki, Andre Dawson, Vance Law, Pat Sheridan, Ken Oberkfell, Don Robinson, Terry Kennedy, Trevor Wilson, Craig Lefferts, Jeff Brantley, uh, Brett Butler, Bob Brenly, Kevin Mitchell, Steve Bedrosian, Dave Dravecki, Damaso Garcia. A lot of people don't remember him. He was a pretty good player back when he was with the Blue Jays. And Adam Wainwright and Clayton Kershaw make finish off that pack. So pretty good. That was a decent pack for a dollar. Can't complain at all. Let's open up this second one. Try to get it. So we don't cause any corner air problems. Ooh, that one's stuck to the car a little bit. Okay, which way are these going? They're going this way. So on the back is a David Price. And on the front is... Uh, 89 score Cal Ripken. I mean, that Cal Ripken card right there is probably worth more than the dollar, even though it's junk wax error. Kurt Schilling from 89 Donruss. I can't remember which year their Schilling rookie card is. I thought it was in 88, but, you know, I could be wrong. I'm not real good on my junk wax era rookie cards for some reason. I'm a, I get a little confused by them. 92 Donruss Dave Martinez. 91 Tops Mark Langston. Bill Pakoda. Bobby Bowe. Al Osuna. We got a checklist from that set. Travis Fryman, Rick Russell. If I haven't said it before, go on Baseball Reference and check Rick Russell's war numbers. They're actually surprisingly good. And I do remember he, he just had bad luck playing for some bad teams uh, most of those years with the Cubs. But every time we, we faced him, uh, when I watched him on TV with the Phillies games, um, he was definitely a tough pitcher to face. Jay Howell, Tom Gordon, Pedro Guerrero, 
Nelson Santovinia, Pasquale Perez. There's another Kirk Schilling. Another Kirk Schilling. That one's got a rather damaged corner down there. Jeff Ballard, Dennis Eckersley, Doug Jennings, Rene Gonzalez, Terry Kennedy, Ken Gearhart, Billy Ripken, Tom Neenfewer, Mark Williamson, Larry Sheets, Cal Ripken on 89 Donruss, Jim Traber, Tom Neenfewer again, Terry Kennedy again, there's Eddie Murray, Oswald Peraza, Bob Malacki, Rene Gonzalez, Joe Orsalak, Joe Orsalak, Greg Olson, I don't know if that's his rookie card or not. I'm not sure about that. Billy Hatcher, Alex Trevino, Juan Augusto, and Juan Augusto. <laughs> Ken Caminiti again, Rafael Ramirez, Chuck Jackson, Danny Darwin. Here we go. Topps Heritage, this is uh, 2011. This is the 1962 Topps design. Matt Laporta, Jordan Zimmerman, looking really serious there. Jay Bruce, Kevin Kalsmanoff, not sure if that's how you pronounce that. R.A. Dickey, Ryan Zimmerman, Jared Weaver, Grady Sizemore, I remember him. Jacoby Ellsbury, Matt Caps, Brandon Phillips. And here's some earlier heritage. I think this is from 2009. I think it's 2009. There's the, there's the date. 2009. That's Matt Caps, Ryan Dalmet, Joel Hanrahan, Garrett Jones. So pretty cool. Here's some more Topps Heritage. This is a later set. That's from 2013. This is the 1964 Topps design. Gabby Sanchez, Omar Infante, Dustin Ackley, Elvis Andrus. That's a good one. Derek Holland. Emilio Bonifacio, Bud Black, manager. I remember him when he was a pitcher back with the Royals. Didn't know he was a manager. Derek Norris, Alfonso Soriano. See, I skipped over uh, like about 30 years worth of baseball. <laughs> Long story. We won't go into it. But, you know, I I, I kind of left the hobby when I went was in school, in college, and bought a couple things after that, and then I just lost interest and. Mostly from the steroids issue, I just stopped following baseball. So I didn't know Bud Black was a manager. I, my return happened in the fall of 2021. And then I know there's many of you out there that, that are in the same situation. So uh, hopefully this you can appreciate the uh, commonalities we have in that regard. Gerald Alexander, Ruben Sierra, Gary Mielke, Juan Gonzalez, Bud Harrelson, Ron Darling, and Ron Darling again. Tim Tuffle, Todd Hunley, Bob Ojeda, Bob Ojeda, Jim Abbott, Bob Clark, Mike Sims, Gerald Young, Andrew Harsedeno, Casey Candell, Dave Smith, Mike Scott at the plate. Not very many photos of pitchers at the plate. Bob McClure, Glenn Wilson, Lou Whitaker on 86 tops, Carlos Bayerga, Kurt Wilkerson, we have uh, 1981 Topps Padres Future Stars. Don't think any of these players amounted to anything. I think Tom Tellman pitched for a while with the Brewers, but I don't know. I, I don't remember Craig Stimack or George Stablin. Jose Canseco, back to Heritage, Tim Lincecum, Wade Davis, Clay Buchholz, and David Price. So that wasn't too bad for a dollar. So $2 for 200 cards, lots of semi-stars, some actually Hall of Famers in there. Tend to be junk wax era, but still not a bad deal. Uh, like I said, we will open up the binder and have a look at that in a separate video, and we will explore the contents of that large box. I'm going to try to remember to weigh it before, um, before I film that so that I can share with you how much that weighs because when i lifted that up and brought it to the cash register i was like wow what's in here <laughs> it's really really dense um hopefully it's not dense enough that it will form into a black hole and suck all the cards up into it i'd hate to have that happen anyway thanks so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video hope you have a wonderful rest of your day uh don't forget to like subscribe and comment i really appreciate your support take care everybody beep beep